Okay, we're at the tail end of the flower district. Um, when you're walking through Central, uh, most businesses are kind of grouped. Now, it's not entirely, but they try to be in the same area. So you'll have flowers within a two or three block area. You'll have uh, shoe stores. Well, you'll have them everywhere, but you'll, they try to group, and so there's about a four by two block area that is mostly shoes. I told you about uh, the name of the town is Amable, which is friendly, but on the sidewalk you have these tiles that actually say that. Okay, we're coming basically to the heart of Central.
Futura Cena. Oh. <laughs> Moscas. place where if you want to find drugs or something illicit, if you want to find criminals, uh, this is kind of notorious for for being a, a seedy place. And this is the center of Centro. Now during the day you're okay and uh, there's police but uh, they do tend to congregate here. And, um, you know, I don't want to be elitist, but, you know, if you look at the way people dress and conduct themselves here, it's you can tell they're essentially on the bottom end of the ladder as far as financial goes. And so you would kind of expect wherever there's more poverty, there's going to be more crime. But this is also the area where you can get your uh, cheapest fruits and vegetables and there's even a few butcher shops around here that I've never been but I'm told are uh, quite inexpensive with good cuts. This is Armenia's vagrant area. So I know what you're thinking. You're wondering if it's so bad, why am I here? Because even in the worst place in Armenia, during the day I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I don't really go out at night much, unless it's for something very specific. But during the day is a time to go out walking around and I just, I never have any problems because there's, a, even among thieves, there's there's kind of a sense of morality and um, you know I just I'm not uncomfortable and plus there's, there's always police around and I've been on hard times and I even lived in the street for a short period of time and you know, I can kind of understand and relate to what people go through and, you know, I can't hate them for being poor. I just don't want to be a victim of of that situation. So, I, you know, I take precautions. Like, I don't really have any money to outside of for lunch and taxi. I don't really have much to, to worry about. 
And with this little bitty camera, people barely even notice. I'm sure hardcore criminal will notice, but I'm a big guy. some fruits and veggies. So I mentioned before, they don't really have a central location Mercado, but you have these street vendors everywhere. You know, even in the north where I live, if I want mangoes or bananas or strawberries or whatever, I can just, you know, walk a couple blocks and there'll be street vendors. Now here, this construction has been going on for a couple years. What they're doing is like here, there's a new road and they're putting in this beat up old road here and they're putting in new. So they're doing that half and then they'll cut, switch over to, to this area. I think they'll be finished within the year just looking at how much they've gotten done things tend to move along pretty good you know I, in my mind I'm always comparing to Ecuador and like the Tranvia that you know was supposed to be completed almost four years ago and it's still not operating uh, at least operating on any kind of schedule outside of test runs and here my guess is just based on everything else that that Tranvia probably would have been done on time uh, here in Colombia. Uh, they're just, uh, they're very industrious here. They're not uh, collective minded. They're not, uh, they don't have that government employment mentality. They just, even if they work for the government, they want to hustle. And um, I like that, I appreciate that. Okay, right up the street is the sign that says hotel. And that's the hotel I used to stay in when I would visit from uh, Cuenca, from Ecuador, when I would come and just kind of revisit Armenia. The hotel was remodeled a couple years ago. It's actually very nice, and I would stay eight to 10 days, and my rate was usually about $9 a day. Although, it, like everywhere else, it fluctuates and depends on the time of year. Right here on the corner was this chicken place that I would grab uh, dinner sometimes. Not very, you know, not very nice. Uh, seats were uncomfortable, but the food was actually very good. And, uh, and of course, you've got fruits and veggies on the street. And if you go up the street this way, uh, probably seven or eight blocks, and turn to the right, you'll be at the bus terminal. Terminal, and we go up here, and it's um, Plaza de Bolivar, Bolivar Plaza. See or no? See or no? Imagine this: fruits and veggies. There's an old Exito. Exito is kind of, uh, it's like a department store with groceries.
Well, that street that we were just on uh, went south. This street goes north, runs parallel. I believe that one was the was 19. So this would be 18. And over there, you've seen in videos, they have little arepas con queso. Pequeños. Oh. Uh huh. Delicioso. Me encanta. Mmm. Antes, a todo mañana. Pues. En caminar, catorce o café. I should say that um, what I talked about being kind of a seedy area, that little park back there, uh, the rest of the central is, you're fine. You're fine there during the day if you're not uh, acting like a idiot tourist and flashing all kinds of uh, expensive jewelry and just being uh, not very aware of things. Don't make yourself a target. It's easy not to. I've mentioned before the staining from the pollution years ago. You'll see all these buildings, they've just kind of given up. They can't. Uh, really paint away what's underneath. Uh, paint goes on and it just kind of peels right back off. I'm sure there's paints that would do it, but your typical paints don't. The pollution was in Colombia everywhere. Potato was, was ghastly, but it was everywhere back 15, 20 years ago. Now we're getting to the nicer part of Central. We're almost up at Catorce. Where I've done so many videos. I'm not going to do another one today, but if you go two blocks that way, that's where the Bolivar Plaza is, and that's where Catorce is. Then we come out on Catorce. which is the middle class shopping area. And the mall is the upper class, middle and upper. Based on pricing. So in other words, if you go to Central, you can buy things for, let's say something is 20,000 pesos. Here in Catorce, it might be 40,000 pesos. And in the mall, it might be 60 or 80,000 pesos all for the same thing. And then you have people that are just smart shoppers. They go to the mall just uh, because the mall's a nice place to look at things and walk around. And then uh, when they just see something they like, they go down to Central and buy it. If you're on a budget and you buy where 
places like Central where you or you buy used things, your life is so much easier financially. And there's my favorite coffee, Favorit. Terraza Cafe. Aqui. It's a big travel agency across the street. You notice that little, see it says vacation, and above it it's this little squiggly sign. That, that circle uh, actually is the symbol for Peru. And uh, this is a new, a relatively new building. This is if you keep walking past Plaza Bolivar and um, you're on, on Catorce but walk past Bolivar, you're down in this area. pleasant area. Oh, yeah. Here's a soccer field you don't want to fall down on. In the center of this uh, boulevard, over there you see that tree. It looks like a, a big grown bonsai tree. And look at this one over here. Very cool. You never know what you're going to find when you get off the beaten path. Here's a building I've never seen before. It's very cool. Nothing like a bakery. Buñuelos, the size of a hardball, empanadas. Once again, we're at Plaza Bolivar, and you'll see the little police truck over there, and uh, nice benches to kind of kick back and relax. You got vendors walking up and down with empanadas and uh, coffee in their carts. They'll pour it out for you. And there's Huli holding the tree up. <laughs> if you're a Colombian citizen, you can get your passport right here. This is next to Plaza Bolivar. Uh, you've seen this building many times. But what's interesting here is the passport without your visa. But it says receive your passport in three days.